action. I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. You want? I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. YouTube is like the major leagues of content creation. If you make it to the YouTube partnership program, it's like the NFL, the MLB, or the NBA. You are a professional content creator. Could you imagine if an NBA player said, hey, basketball players are some of the dumbest people in the world. You would look at that person like he was crazy. You want to jeopardize your career, everything you've built. Why? So you can be on TikTok for free. We are better than you. Hey, dear Alba and Preach, you are professional content creators. And when you go after another professional content creator, you're going after yourself. Today's topic. Yeah, we're f***ing too. Next year, this time, we're going to lap you motherfuckers. Few moments later. The channel has been kicked off the YouTube Partner Program. Saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. Yeah, why we're still celebrating Fresh and Fit getting fucked over. Uh, Are we celebrating? Low key. I'm celebrating. I'm just doing a little two-step in my room. That's a little two-step. Yeah, 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 yeah. I drew a little Fresh and Fit sticker on the floor and I'd be dancing on it. <laughs> YouTube right now at this moment, it's bigger than the United States government. Two billion monthly users for YouTube with that much power they not only control the American economy, they control the way we speak, they control who gets elected, they dictate culture. Everyone's like, oh, how dare you guys celebrate somebody being deplatformed, this and that. No, I celebrate people having consequences for their actions. That's what I celebrate. YouTube dictates the way that we live our lives right now. You say, oh man, you just, you ain't gotta use YouTube. Two billion people are using YouTube. A third of the world is using YouTube. If you cannot comprehend that, then maybe you're the dumb person. Can you ask why these clowns tried to take down Abba and Preach with fake DMCA strikes? What? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, we have a lot of people that talk about us on the internet and some of it is slander, some of it is defamation and using our content in their videos. And we're like, okay, cool. We've waited out for a while for you to stop. You're still doing it. So, oh, you know what? Cool. Now we're going to take legal action against you because obviously you're attacking our, our character and our integrity. So at that point, hey, it's all fair game. There was a man named Kurt Flood. Kurt Flood was a professional baseball player, and he said, I'm not no slave. A master and slave relationship. This is Kurt Flood, baseball's Bolshevik. He was public enemy number one. What started as a routine trade has become a dedicated effort to change the structure of baseball. In late 1969, a center fielder named Kurt Flood was traded from St. Louis to Philadelphia. He refused to go and decided to fight America's pastime. Baseball owners say the move could spell disaster. There's no question about it. It's the worst thing that has ever happened to baseball. Kurt Flood's legacy is that he gave his life for a lot of baseball players who don't know who he is. Abba and Preach. You guys have built a following of over 2 million subscribers. That's that's amazing. That's outstanding. Do you think that YouTube should just arbitrarily be able to say you can no longer make a living because we disagree with some of your words? October 8th, 1969, Kurt gets a call in the morning from not the general manager, not the owner, Gussie Bush, but some middle manager in the front office calls him and, and in sort of a monotone voice says, Kurt, you and Tim McCarter have been traded to the Philadelphia Phillies. I think at some point there was free speech where it was like, okay, you know what? Yeah. Say what you got to say. We won't crucify you. But nowadays, free speech is kind of like, is it even a thing? Excuse me? He just didn't think it was right that he had no say in where he would play. Since the early days of professional baseball, a short clause inserted into every major league contract had given owners complete control over their players. Even when a player's yearly contract was up, the owner could unilaterally renew his contract essentially binding him to the same franchise for life, allowing him to be paid whatever the owner felt he was worth or traded on a whim. Choice, you're free to do whatever you want, free speech. Don't mean that people gotta associate with you. Don't mean that people gotta pay you to do that dumb shit. What brand, okay? You know, forget brand, you got a job, okay? You work at an office. Do you honestly think you could keep your job if after hours you got videos of you publicly, proudly walking around doing the salute, right? I think that all creators should stand together and be united so that YouTube doesn't have so much power. When I say that YouTube is the most biggest thing in the whole history of the world, the only thing that's more powerful than YouTube is you, the creator on YouTube. Take all your shit 
pack your bags, grab your little plaque. Congratulations on hitting a million. Good luck on hitting two. It's called the YouTube Partnership Program. It's not called the YouTube Employee Program. You're a 1099. You're an independent contractor. All these like beefs and dramas, now that we're like around one to two million subscribers, it's not something that you necessarily want to be in all the time. Why? Because YouTube just doesn't like this shit. And honestly, it's not that important to my platform in order to get you guys what y'all need. So why would I jeopardize everything I'm working on, the money for my family, the money for my people, for my initiatives, for my community? Why would I, why would I jeopardize that so I could argue with two reasons? And this is what I'm saying. I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. And what I really want out of this thing is to, to give every ball player the chance to be a human being to, and to take advantage of the fact that we live in a free and democratic society. For the right to determine his own future as a ball player, Flood would have to sue Major League Baseball and cut to the core of how America's pastime operated. As the country's first professional team sport, the courts had chosen to view baseball as a game instead of a business. Decades of rulings had exempted baseball from antitrust laws, giving it a special legal status that protected it from competition. The line from the owners when Kurt sued was Kurt Flood is trying to destroy Major League Baseball. And so when independent contractors choose to negotiate with each other and work with each other, then you can actually stand up to companies as big as YouTube. YouTube is a company. And I'm never going to get on my knees and bow down to no company and say, yes, master, you control everything that I think, everything that I do and everything that I say. And I'm like, nigga, you're on somebody else's platform. You don't have any equity in this thing. You have no rights in this thing. They can literally delete you anytime they want. What? Do you have to base your ego off of? That's why I be telling folks, this shit could get deleted at any point. If it does, I'm just walking. I have no power when it comes to this platform. I don't have to agree with what you're saying, but I believe you have the right to say it. Shoots, could you imagine if a government just had the ability to say, I don't like what you're saying, and so we're gonna take away your ability to make money. <laughs> and a lot of sports writers were buying the line. They couldn't relate to a guy making $90,000 a year who was rejecting a trade from one team to another. Kurt would say, we have been subsidizing the owners. We just can't even go out and find out what am I really valued at? What do I need to be paid if I'm getting seven consecutive gold gloves? What is my value? That's why I be telling folks, this shit could get deleted at any point. If it does, I'm just walking. I have no power when it comes to this platform. Now, sure, there's probably ways I can retain it through websites and off-platform things and little things. Even going to Rumble, you have no equity in the bitch. So people acting like they are boss. That's why I look at creators sometimes and I laugh. You're not untouchable. If YouTube has a partnership program, there should be arbitration and negotiation. That's number one. And if another creator is under attack by YouTube, every YouTube creator should stand up with that creator. I don't care if you disagree with a position. Men before Flood had fought baseball's reserve clause, but no modern athlete framed the issue as starkly. You're a man who makes $90,000 a year, which isn't exactly slave wages. What's your retort to that? Well, uh, Howard, I'm... Uh, a well-paid slave is nonetheless a slave. If you do not fight back and stand up for freedom of speech, if you do not stand up for freedom, then every company in the world can just tell the people, hey, do what we tell you to do, and if you don't do exactly what we tell you to do, we'll cancel you. That's too much power for any organization to have. Now, the deal isn't even that bad. Because I'm not the boss, right? YouTube has a payment system in place. They have advertisers that they work with. They funnel me a check every month, okay? Hey, I'm an employee. I might be a little bit more self-employed than a lot of other employees, but I'm an employee. I don't even pretend like it's not my place. But if you want to get those easy checks, because the checks from YouTube are pretty easy, there are certain rules you got to follow. You don't want to follow them, that's fine. YouTube gets to cut you off. You don't get to cry afterwards. Mm -mm. So that's why I say creators are some of the dumbest, dumbest people, okay? They really don't understand what kind of relationship they have with their employer. They don't have understand what kind of relationship they have with the platform. And yet they want to act big chested and act like they're invincible because they're getting cut big checks. You're not getting cut big checks because you're really smart. You're getting cut big checks because you have a lot of following. That's the only reason. You're a man who makes $90,000 a year, which isn't exactly slave wages. What's your retort to that? Well, uh, Howard, I'm, uh, a well-paid slave is nonetheless a slave. If any company gets too big and controls the people, it's the right of the people to abolish said company. Without the creator, there is no YouTube. 
nigger this and nigger that and how dare you and biting the hand that feeds you. The players were so afraid of the fallout of a public endorsement of Kurt in this lawsuit. Even Kurt's teammates, when they were in town playing the Mets, didn't show up to the trial. The Supreme Court today rejected a suit by ex-outfielder Kurt Flood. In the end, Flood fared no better than those who had gone before him. With the unprecedented backing of the newly formed Players Union, his case went all the way to the Supreme Court. But he could not beat the owners of the game. Without baseball players, there is no MLB. That's the power of the talent. You're the talent, Abba and Preach. The business acumen of some of these people is fucking zero. What businessman wants to throw away his own platform so he could go and raise his hand with white supremacy? Business. And this is not even a fresh, this is just a money thing. Some of you guys are gonna throw away your whole lives because your ego. You wanna throw your careers away because your ego. Every person who uploads content to YouTube, you're one of the most powerful creators in the history of the world because you exist on one of the most powerful platforms in the history of the world. He was far from the ideal plaintiff. Well, I, I did what I thought was right. I, I took it to court. To demonstrate the unfairness of the existing system, Flood had sat out the 1970 season, forfeiting his income for the year. Now, the deal isn't even that bad. Because I'm not the boss, right? YouTube has a payment system in place. They have advertisers that they work with. They funnel me a check every month, okay? Hey, I'm an employee. I might be a little bit more self-employed than a lot of other employees, but I'm an employee. I don't even pretend like it's not my place. Every individual has the right to voice their opinion and they also have the right to defend said opinion. How can you defend your opinions on YouTube when YouTube can arbitrarily cancel you? YouTube just say, hey, just go away. Oh, we answer to our advertisers. If our advertisers don't like you, then you're worthless. That's a bad business model. That's not a partnership. That's a slave master and a slave relationship. Though it ultimately failed, Flood's case had laid the groundwork for players to settle the issue at the negotiating table. We lost the case. But it was nevertheless very important because people got to know what was going on and why Kurt Flood was doing this. Three years later, pitchers Andy Messersmith and Dave McNally won an arbitration case that found owners could no longer renew players' contracts in perpetuity, opening free agency to all veteran major leaguers. Big league baseball owners have maintained a grip on their players so strong that it has amounted to almost total control of their careers. Now that absolute power may be ending. People like Kurt Flood fought against this type of power. People like Kurt Flood gave up their life so that you have the ability to negotiate. Without people like Kurt Flood to be superheroes, we don't have the power that we have right now. Content creators have to defend content creators. Free people have to defend free people because we're not only fighting for freedom in America, we're not only fighting for freedom in Canada, but we're fighting for freedom all around the world. YouTube controls the world. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.